Hi guys, Matt again, and this should be part three of my Mega Blasters reviews. The first being the Hot Shock, the second the Cyclone Shock, and this one being the Mega Mastodon. I do kid you not, this shoulder strap with the metal hooks is essential. It's heavy. Basically what you have here is a fully automatic mega dart firing as I've shown you before the, the comparisons between the mega and the um, standard elite style darts. Um, these are much bigger. Um, this is a fully automatic drum fed um, it looks like a minigun or an aircraft cannon. It is so much fun to play with. It hits good ranges, is reasonably hard at the box. Um, some assembly is required. Um, for example, you need to install the carry handle. The, the drum comes in three separate sections that you need to assemble and put in and also this cage which acts as a rest as well as a protection for your drum um, that has to be installed separately and then you just use the little clips to hook it into your sling points so they actually properly put sling points on nice little square sling points and you can adjust it with the adjustable strap. Um, it houses a huge, wherever the battery components go on, under here, six D cell batteries. Now, that is a lot of money if you think about using this frequently. For six Amazon Basic, well, for a twelve pack of Amazon Basics, you're looking at a pound per per battery. So if you buy a twelve pack, it's about twelve, twelve ninety nine, something like that. So that'll give you two loads. It's not compatible with the Nerf uh, rival battery packs or anything like that. Only six D cells, which has led me to want to. Um, mod it so it can have a lipo in and I can run it off a lipo and charge it and get a bit more kick out of it but me and the guys um, at Project Nerf um, I'll, I'll approach them with that and see what they think about doing the integration with a Mega Mastodon and something else but that'll probably help me out with the wiring or um, I'll just look it up online and uh, work it out from there. But as you can tell, standard, but even though it contains only a pistol grip, which effectively means it is a pistol, <laughs> it contains the rev trigger. Mine's the grey trigger version, which would, uh, um, for some reason, the grey triggers are apparently weaker. But. It does take a couple of seconds to rev up. These batteries have been in here for about a month, so there's been a few rounds gone through this. Um, it's reasonably quiet for its size, and apparently it uses the largest flywheels um, that Nerf have used at two inches. So you've got huge two inch flywheels in this front um, flywheel section up here so you're going to have a massive pair of flywheels there so whatever motors you stick on there i'd stick on some fang revamps probably and a huge graphene lipo or i could probably even get away with putting some 180s in just something super powerful super torquey with a good um, pusher spring uh, pusher motor um, with a 3S LiPo in there, it should really, really hot rock. It should just annihilate everything, but it is open face. 
so you can reload on the fly, which is nice. Um, that that helps because if you're firing a mega blaster from a clip, you've got to reload the clip and then reinsert the clip. Whereas this, you can just if you have dump out, you can just scavenge darts or just get a dump out and just jam more darts in and then keep on firing. But we'll give it a quick blast and see what you think. Takes a while to warm up. I'm going to fire one bag, one entire drum. Okay guys, that was 24 shots and this is on the first set of D-cells I put in there about a month ago and it's still running quite strong. The D-cells do hold the current, uh, they do hold the voltage, um, but once once they're gone, they're gone. You bin them, that's all you got, that's your only option. So a rechargeable option would be very, very nice. Um, I managed to pick this up at Asda um, on their special offer. Um, it was an only at Asda. I know that the Americans have the only at Target and then and only at Walmart offers, but this was an only at Asda uh, offer where you got the blaster itself and your standard 24 darts that you would get in the 24 dart drum but instead of 24 it actually comes with 72 darts and just after Christmas in the January sales it was reduced to about 50 pounds so I just had to jump on it um, at that time because of the price the price has gone back up to 100 now so uh, yeah um, I'm glad I got it when I did. I'm really glad that I got it at, at, at the lower price because it is it is good fun, but I wouldn't really use it realistically in a war. It's good for mowing down things at home and playing, uh, just plinking around or just for fun. Um, but for hundred pounds, a lot you can get a Nemesis for that kind of price. So. It depends. If you, if you like Mega Blasters, which I do, grab one of these. I don't have a Nemesis, but I would love one. And um, I'll have a little face-off with the two. Um, the jam door on it, if you can call it that, is incredibly small. You can just about see the drum in there. It's very, very, very small. It's a tiny jump ball. Uh, it's almost as small as the uh, double bridge, but not quite as ridiculous. Um, yeah, I, I highly recommend this. It is heavier for the younger nerfer who might need adult to help support it, as I did with my friend's son. Um, but with the shoulder strap, it's it's quite easy to carry with you. I wouldn't sling it because it will just rattle around and bang on everything. But with the nice handle, you can hold it reasonably steady and brace it against the sling to keep a nice steady stream. And it is after after a while, it is still quite accurate. So. For mega darts, if that was a twenty foot shot, it's it's not that bad. Um, if you like what you see, this will be probably at the moment it will be the last of my megas. But uh, if you like what you see, drop me a comment below, um, and if you hit the show more button, you'll find my email address on Facebook, so you can get in touch with me there. Um, if you need any help or if you just want to chat or whatever um, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications of upcoming videos in the very near future um, I hope to see you soon have a great time and 
they kept three cells on each other and um, more protection apparently but take care I'll be Matt see you later